horses with Jim. Um, I'm Brenda, and this is my daughter Trudy and Abigail. And you can put in the comments below which one you think is the oldest and which is the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> we are here today for a very special event. This is our first annual Corona Pull, and we hope it's our last. Um, we have two teams in attendance today. Um, and they are right now social distancing very well. And, um, and I think we're a little close right now. And I think we're a little close. <laughs> Our daughters do not live with us. They live close by, they live together. And so they, we, we have been trying very hard to keep our distance from each other. And um, we've even been trying to keep the horses distance from each other. That was just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get started. Okay, so, here we go. So, we are very excited for the horse pull today, and we have two teams and one teamster. So, it's going to be a really uh, tight race today. We'll see who is the winner. Um, if all the Teamsters could please come up, we will share the rules with them. And here are all the Teamsters. You're the judge. Yes, and I'm standing six feet away. All right, sir, so this is a no-touch pull. That means you may not use your hand or anything else to touch your horses. And it is also a hit-your-own hit your pull. <laughs> Now, for those of you who don't know, usually in a horse pull, um, two people will come along with the Teamster. They will each get one side of the evener so that they can drop um, the evener, the little hole, onto the stone boat so that the horses can pull it. But today, of course, because of the coronavirus, we have no um, people here to hitch the evener, so it is a hitch your own pull. And my father, with both of his teams, will be hitching his own evener. All right, is it what amount of feet? 12 feet. It is a 12 foot pull. So that means that once he hitches his own evener, the horses will then try to pull the stone boat 12 feet. Now, if you look over there, you can see the blue string is attached to the end of the stone boat, and there is a bottle there that will stay there because that string there is 12 feet long, and when the boat is pulled, 12 feet, sir, the bottle will fall. And we'll know all the way for Jim Gordon. So let's come over here and finish the work. That's about it. Those are basically all of the rules. I, well, we'll talk more about it as we go. Yeah. But those are the main rules that you need to keep in mind, okay. sir. Okay? I will try to abide by your rules. All right. Now, would everyone please stand and remove their hats for the singing of our nation's anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rang the bombs were Oh, 
So, who, who falls first? Please step back. You six, six feet. feet. Sorry. Six feet. First up is Jim Gordon with Lady and Bill. And second up is Jim Gordon with Ken and Buck. All right. Let's fall first. to hitch his own evener. He's backing up. In some horse pulls, they would take the boat and bring it back so they would all start from the same place. But in this horse pull, they're going to be pulling it back and forth. And we're able to do this because the ground is pretty level here. And so each team has an equal advantage. Well, that was a lot harder than I thought. I obviously haven't practiced on this. We're going to go back that way with the other two. to the stone boat and that is what we are going to be doing now so we don't have an exact weight um, of what the stone boat is we're going to guess a lot and what we're going to do is add more <laughs> so as you can see he's taking the skid steer and he is going to add some more weight As you saw in our previous video, something along the lines of, it's time to weigh the horses. These two teams weigh much different. And so normally they would not be in the same class. Heavier horses would be in a different class and they would go against the other heavier horses and lightweight horses would go against other lightweight horses. What we have pulling right now is Lady and Bill who are weighing a lot less than the other thing. 3280. Oh. Oh. Let's see if they can pull this, which is a lot of weight. Oh. 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 to a point where they cannot pull it they will have three chances basically they can take two chances right away and then if they still don't get that once all the other teams have one which would be the other team they can take their third try and if no one is able to pull the full amount um, the judge is going to need to measure how far they are able to go and whoever gets the most um, does win the pull right so, so yes in case you haven't figured that out the horses that can pull the most weight win, win the, the pull. horse pull. We forgot to pray at the beginning. 
I'm thinking we should pray right now because I'm afraid Dad's going to get his hand smashed. All right, yeah, let's do that. Dear God, thank you for today and thank you that we were able to get together um, separately and do this horse pull. And I pray that you will keep everyone safe and help everyone to have a great time. Amen. All right, so the next team to pull, as we know, is Buck and Ken, and they are heavier than the other two. They are weighing a great amount of 36, right? 36, 75, something. or something yeah, like that. 75. So they have the weight advantage. Oh, oh, no, oh. So they're not in a different place and they weren't trailered there, you know, and they know where they are. It makes it a little bit more calm, although the crowd is definitely something that might get, that might get them riled up. Yeah. yeah, and my Boo Way crowd, I just want to remind you, when you have hooked up onto a, a big load, please do not be making a lot of noise. <laughs> because it really makes the horses anxious and so it's very important that the calm is quiet and is really respectful to the horses and to the Teamsters as they are doing the loads. Yes. I don't you. want to add to their anxiety. So oh, yes, um, sometimes when spectators like yourself get excited and they just want, want the horses to go, they'll yell, go, 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 but there's one big problem with that. Um, actually, sometimes when the horses hear go, they think that they're, that the um, crowd is saying whoa, and they might get that mixed up with when, you know, their teamster is telling them whoa, which, you know, means for the horses to stop. And so that's a problem that happens a lot at horse pulls, and so I'd appreciate if the crowd would just simmer down and not be yelling go to the horses as much as we all do want them to go. And so now that both teams have pulled this load of heavy weights of a questionable amount, um, now my father is going to go ahead and add some more weight for the next round. I'm gonna go do a little interview with the horses. Okay, how do you think it's going? And are you feeling like you got a lot of energy today? Ken? Is he pulling his weight? Is he doing his job, doing his half of the work? Bill, Bill, just wonder if you're feeling any social isolation lately. Lady, how's the girl power going? Is he pulling his weight? You are looking good, my girl, looking good. We did just want to add that normally at a horse pull there will be quite a few people out there on the track, so to speak, and there would be one or two people back there to move the little jar, what is it? Not a jar. Jug. The little jug around whenever... Yes, it's barn chain oil. There are people there raking the track to make sure it's even. There are people... There, but the point is, right now, Dad has to do it all because we can't help him. We don't want to get close to him. We don't Although have a behind ground the scenes, crew. Um, our mom, Brenda, is doing a lot of the work as well. So I think it's definitely a team effort. Um, and we're just sitting here gapping. <laughs> <laughs> like we do best. <laughs> okay, first up again is Jim Gordon with Lady and Bill. And they're pulling a lot of weight. Let's see how this new weight treats. Thank you. 
would be right next to each other. One wouldn't be way far ahead of the other. So I don't know how you felt about that pull down. Eh. They pulled it. That's the most important thing. You know, that is absolutely right, Mom. So true. Not always pretty. Not always pretty. Such is life, you know? And next up, we do have Jim Gordon, and he <laughs> is going to be driving um, Buck and Kent. Let's see if these heavy horses can they are that pull their weight. <laughs> we actually don't know if it is their weight or what the weight is, but we're still guessing a lot. Shining, you yeah. know, it makes a big difference. Yeah, it's moving around. Getting tired out? How do you feel so no. far? Huh? How do you feel so far? And do you have a prediction of who's going to win this? Well, we have a slight problem. We're not having weight. We won't have enough weight. That may be a problem. Oh boy. We've already got a lot, and we're going to put on some more, but this is going to be an extra lot of weight. You know, and that's the problem with these small pulls. Is the horses are just so strong, you know, and you know, before we know it, we're going to have to start sitting on the stone boat. <laughs> Not happening. Social distancing. Social distancing. Wow, take a look at that load. That's a big load of weight. That sure is. I bet it is. Any ballpark? Well, maybe we should go pretty far and just be impressive. 10,000. 60,000 pounds. My guess is 8,000. And yours, Trudy? 9,000. <laughs> we really have no idea. 
I'm sure Dad has some sort of an idea, but me and Trudy have no idea. So, just like normal, once we've added the weights, each team will get a chance to try this new weight. And this is the last weight that we have, so it's going to be neck and neck, really. It's going to be deci the deciding round. their horses to be hurt. Or they pull a big load and they don't think they'll be able to pull the next one and they back out to help their horses. So they don't, they don't lose that courage. That this is Lady and Good oh. yeah. pit crew, I might not have to do this. Oh. I know, you got to do the pit crew and everything. Oh. This man loves a horse pull. Back up here. Oh. Back. Oh. Back. Oh. No. Oh. It's still recording. I fell over and killed the tripod. Just crushed it. <laughs> At least the GoPro is still going. That would have been bad. <laughs> Mom, we're glad you're okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I don't know. I tripped over that. That's what I tripped over. Trying to be the pit crew and I blew it. Don't you do that. Alright, we're coming up on our final pull. Let's see if these big boys can pull as much as the little ones. Trying to make sure they will? Yep. I hate to have the big boys get beat by the little boys. Boys, did you hear that? Now if they do, they're going to be like...
social distancing. I'm going to say heads for the Belgians and tails for the Percherons. Fill up your own, sir. I got your core. <laughs> Once again, heads for the Belgians, tails for the Percherons. Six feet, please. And the winner is? Heads. The per Belgians. <laughs> <laughs> that to my wife. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. We also have one more award to give out today. The best Teamster award goes to the Teamster who showed the most horsemanship today and that goes to Jim Gordon. Congratulations. Thank you sir. very much. Why don't you give that to my wife? Thank you. I would just like to thank Judy and Abby for their a spectacular job at announcing today. <laughs> thank you, it was fun. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your our great work. And for my wife for all the work she did. My pleasure. I hope you enjoyed our little horse pull today.